communication and progress updates. If a task doesn't get completed, if there's a problem with a resource, these things will all affect the project, so you have to be in the loop about everything and ready to respond. It's important that you map out what information you need to track as the project commences and advances. Who will have the information you need to track? How should that information be delivered to you? How often do you need this information? By creating a communications plan, you can specify ahead of time what information you need, who will deliver it to you, and how often. You can create a communications plan easily enough using Excel. The communications plan should include the person responsible for communicating information to you, the information they will share with you, the method they will use to share it, such as email, report, or meeting, and the frequency they will share the information, such as daily, weekly, or bi-weekly. It is important that key people or stakeholders within the project communicate progress to you. If a project is off schedule, you need to know. If there is more overtime than allocated, you need to know. All these things need to be reported to you, then entered into Project 2013. There are several methods you can use to enter and track this data as well. The first of these methods exist under the Task tab. The blue buttons shown here let you mark the completion of a task by a percentage. If you click Mark on Track, Project will record activity for a task automatically to the status date as scheduled in the baseline. You can also select Update Tasks from the Mark on Track drop down option. When you use this, you'll see a dialog box. In the dialog box, you can find and enter information about your progress, start or finish dates, and duration. There are other tools you can use to enter and track progress in Project 2013, aside from the ones we've just talked about. You can mark all tasks complete up to a specified status date by going to the Project tab, and then clicking on Update Project. When you click on that button, you'll see this dialog box. You can select the right options here that you want, and then click on OK. Otherwise, click Cancel. You can also move a task to reschedule all or part of it. This tool is found under the Task tab. So you can select a task and click on the Move drop down box. As you can see, you can move the task forward or back. You can create custom to move it forward or back by as much time as you need. In addition, you can add a progress line. This is just a drawing tool located under the Format tab in the Gantt chart view. Just go to the Format tab and under the Grid Lines drop down, click on Progress Lines. You'll then see this dialog box. Progress lines will show the tasks that are ahead or behind schedule by displaying a vertical line. The line will connect tasks that are in progress. Project 2013 has several views, as we've already discussed in this course. These views can be used to enter in progress and status updates, as well as to view progress on your project. On the screen here is a chart that lists the tracking views that you can use to enter and view tracking information. We've listed what you want to track, what tracking view you can use, and the table or column that's displayed. So take a moment to have a look at this table here. The Task Usage view can be found by clicking on the View tab and then going to Task Usage. The work rows are here to the right, 